exiting the system. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. A lot going on in the world today, right? Yeah. So, if you are of the mindset that you do not wish to comply with certain things, um, then you are the bad guy. You are going to have to get used to dealing with certain things. For example, one of my children, homeschooled, of course, outside the system, but state testing requirements. So he's supposed to go to a room full of people that have had it and be around them and wear a covering. Ain't gonna happen. So now we gotta fight the fight of that. Maybe we need to be totally outside the system. What about if we can't, I mean a lot of places, well maybe not a lot of places, some places, you can't go to bars, nightclubs, um, sporting events, stuff like that, without it, without the passport. Okay, I could deal with that, so what? I don't drink anyway. We don't go out to restaurants, hardly ever. Don't really worry about it, but maybe you do. It's time to change our lifestyles. Time to be used to being outside of the system. Exit the system. Stop playing their games. Stand up for yourself, your freedoms, your rights. Get outside of their system because you don't want to be controlled. I don't think you do. I don't want to be controlled. I've said that in many videos before. I just want a garden. I just want to, you know, get my chicken stuff in order, build it, get them, raise animals, do my garden, play with my kids. Simple, honest life. That's all I want. Just be left alone. They don't like that. So think about doing more. You can't just do it all at once. You can't, it, well, I don't know. Some people may have the capability of just exiting society completely. <clears throat> but we need to start moving, making progress in that direction. I think. This is all my opinion, of course. <laughs> I'm not telling you what to do. I just think being outside of the system is a good place to be. Being more self-reliant, self-sufficient. Talk about that. Homesteading type things. And you don't have to have a big 20, 30, 40, 100 acre homestead. You can do it on an acre or two, maybe even less. Are you gonna produce all the stuff you need? No, of course not. That's where bartering comes in. That's where neighbors, friends, family, mag, tribe, that's where all that stuff comes into play. Different people have different abilities and they may grow different things. They may have different animals. They may have access to different things. They may have abundance of something that you don't have an abundance of and you have an abundance of something they don't have an abundance of. So work together. We need to, I feel, we need to form our own society, exiting mainstream society. You may not feel this way, that's okay. You have a right to your opinion. God gave us free will, and I respect that. We don't have to agree, we don't have to agree on everything or anything. What we have to do, what we need to do, is respect each other and our rights and our freedoms. Rights, freedoms, constitution, free will, all those things, that's not a left or right thing, that's not a liberal or conservative thing, that is a human thing. Those same rights, those same freedoms apply to conservatives and liberals. It doesn't matter where you are on the spectrum, it doesn't matter. That's basic human freedoms. And I hope that no matter where you are politically, religious, or not, black, white, 
Asian, Hispanic, I, you, I hope, want your children to grow up in a world where they can make their own choices. They have the freedom to do so. Is it possible to completely exit society? It is, but much more difficult. Life would be very difficult. We would have to be able to get along without a lot of nice, comforting things. We would have to be way outside our comfort zone, which I highly recommend doing. Get outside your comfort zone as much as possible. Do hard things. Do the difficult things. Don't just sit back on the couch and, okay, so my oldest daughter, she had a friend of hers. I forget what they were talking about, what the topic was. But basically, her friend said that she doesn't care what's going on. She doesn't care what the government's doing. She doesn't care about anything as long as she has her internet and her iPhone. Seriously, she said that. She doesn't care about anything. She doesn't care about freedom. She doesn't care about rights. She doesn't care about anything as long as she has that little zombification device. Turning everybody into zombies. Walking on. You see it, if you, especially if you live in a city, everybody is... You know, families sitting at a, in a restaurant, you know, husband here, wife here, kids here. It's pathetic. And if you're one of those people that does that, I'm sorry if I offend you, but it's sad. Put those things away. Sit down and talk as a family. There's time and a place for that. Sure. Enjoy it. But go back to basics, basic human behavior, communication, face-to-face. -face. This world is weird now. I'm having to worry about things here as a citizen of the United States of America that I never thought I would have to deal with. I served and fought for my country for 20 years. I shouldn't have to worry about these things. I shouldn't have to worry about if I want to wear something on my face or not when I go into a store. Uh, something that doesn't do anything at all. Whether it's cloth or paper. Seriously? If I was wearing a full-on respirator or gas mask or positive airflow system or something like that, like an SCBA like firefighters use, or even like a scuba rig, <laughs> you know, like divers wear, then maybe that would actually keep you safe. But are you gonna go in there full on gas mask, full on breathing apparatus, self-contained? No, you're not. I, I, I seriously, you know what I really wanna do? I really wanna get one of those um, um, Guy Fox masks, the V for Vendetta, and wear that. And they'd be like, hey, you're supposed to be wearing a mask. I am wearing a mask. <laughs> And just wear that everywhere I go. If I leave my property, I'm wearing it. Driving, <laughs> you know, everywhere. That, I think, would make a statement. And if you, haven't once, if you haven't seen that movie, watch it. I watched it a long time ago. Probably at least 10 plus years ago. And to me, it was like, okay, that's an interesting movie. But watch it again now. And correlate it today to, to, to today's world. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot that, there's a lot of other movies and shows out there to watch. One sec. There are also a lot of good YouTube channels out there to watch. This video, you know, I'm not really talking about preparedness in the video, even though this is about preparedness, this channel. There's a lot of other good channels out there. And a lot of good channels are being shut down. You guys know it, you guys hear it. Um, just watched a video today, She'll Bear Her Faith put out a video about how he was shut down for a week just for mentioning something about that thing that happened last year that spread around. And he was saying that TJ Abair Independent is now shut down for a week also. During which they, neither one of them ever said that, hey, I'm a doctor and this is, the, this is the gospel. They were talking about their opinions and not offering any kind of medical advice or anything. So yeah, censorship censorship in the United States of America. And I get it. There, 
That's not a uh, eye-opening, it's not like a light bulb moment for people. We know, we're in it. Yeah, we have to deal with it. I have to mind what I say here all the time. Watching this video, you see how I word things. Because I have to. I don't have to on Patreon. If you want to check us out there, links in the description below. A dollar a month. Well worth it. Hundreds and hundreds of videos. Good content. I feel it's good content. Um, it leans towards the security and defensive side a lot of the time, but I also talk about a lot of other stuff there. Good stuff. And that really helps out me, my family, and the ability to do things. The ability to pay our bills, be prepared, and put content out for you guys. I love doing the free content here on, uh, on YouTube, but it all works together. The little tiny bit of you know monetization I get from here, the Patreon, the, oh, that's another thing. Link in the description below for preparewithap.com. That is my Patriot Supply, my website for them, affiliate program. I earn a percentage, you save 25%. That's pretty darn good on their Ready Hour Foods, 20 year, 25 year shelf stable buckets of food that are good. We use them, we stockpile them, they're good. And um, what was I gonna say? Oh, but remember, that's only part of your food storage. I don't want you to go there and like spend all your money on that. You also need canned goods, you also need dry goods. You need a variety of things, but if you want some of those shelf stable buckets, it's a good place to go and you save 25%. Um, so please do that if you need that kind of stuff. Go to other prepper channels. I also have an Amazon store. I get it, Amazon is not that great. Um, and I get like 4% if you order stuff via my Amazon storefront, link in the description below. But if you're ordering stuff on Amazon, go to some channel. Anybody you like, any prepper channel, you know, GU, um, N channel that you like and use their link. Use somebody's link because then they get that 4% instead of Amazon pocketing that 4%. But keep on prepping on, doing the best you can, prep out of peace of mind, not out of fear, and remember that prepping is your living insurance. Life insurance is basically death insurance. We know that. Prepping is living insurance. It'll ensure that you live, your kids live, people around you will live and not starve. And work and move towards exiting society. That's just my advice. You may not go with it, but whatever. I love you guys. I'm just here to try to empower you guys, uplift you guys. We're all in this together, this journey. I want us all to do the best we can. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.